All right. Welcome to ep- shit. It's episode 19, right? Oh my god, are we at 19? I think we are on episode 19. You uh, people are still fucking listening to us? Yeah, it's episode 19. <laughs> That's insane. This is the regular yeah. episode, right? Yeah, this is the first bo- public episode of yeah. uh, July. Which coincidentally, we are recording on July 4th, the bad day. The day that we, we don't like. We hate this day. It's currently 3.41 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, July Take the 4th, time. 2022. Yeah. I have a bomb. Right. All right, quick. You, <laughs> you have a what? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, fuck. Uh, uh. fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! And fuck the Congress for sucking your dick! And fuck everybody who puts up with it, including me! Fuck me for not killing you! Fuck everybody who's gotten within 15 fucking feet of you and hasn't fucking tried! But fuck murder! Fuck rotting in jail! Fuck you! And fuck you! And fuck you don't even deserve to be Hey everyone, welcome to episode 19 of Gorilla Radio Show. We've been doing this for a while now. Episode 19, that's a lot of that's a lot of episodes. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Chandran's not here with us today. Um, he's uh, been exploded by a bottle rocket in Spain. Damn, that's um, crazy. No, just kidding. Uh, they're actually in India right now, and so they can't record. So we have today with us Perry and Greg, and... Perry, if you want to introduce yourself. Yeah, so I was on the, I was the second guest after Ethan, I think, right? So, yeah. you know, uh, first is the worst, second is the best. Uh, so true. I was on the Arts and Apes episode. I'm kind of the resident graphic designer for Gorilla Radio Show, just kind of mostly making shit posts for the people uh, here, uh, including our friends at Big Soy National. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do have to draw. Big Soy, wait, hold draw. On. Big soy National. <laughs> big, yeah, Big Soy National. They've gone national. <laughs> big Soy National. <laughs> big Soy uh, National. Series, uh, you can get me for that one. That was a blunder. Uh, I do owe Greg, Coco the Gorilla, and Travis the Chimp uh, doing 9 11. I have to uh, Photoshop this that later today. Um, I was also on the Pride Month special, which I think we have some calls and texts about, uh, which are. I've saw a few and they're very fun. I'm glad I was uh, correct. Wait, what? And if you Austin, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The entire <laughs> time Perry's doing the intro, you're fucking going. And then at the, I'm dead. Shut up! <laughs> I love to interrupt a woman. Anyway, <laughs> uh, see, he's trying to. Okay, so first off. I will just say we are set. I am setting up for next year's Pride Month special. If you didn't listen to the last year's, go to the Patreon and support it because Greg, this is your lead in. Okay. Uh, we have a good cause that the Patreon money is going towards this year or this month or next while. I'm not sure how long. Thank Greg. you for the lead in. All right. So as you guys, are, I'm sure you're well aware, we live in a fucking hell state. Hell country, nightmare reality, um, and yet again, the Supreme Court has decided to take away a right um, from, you know, 52% of the population. So, we here on the Guerrilla Radio Show are all, are all very, very principled um, communists, you may say. Um, Wearing red. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of um, community support. Now, my co-hosts, Austin and Chandran, both live in states where abortion is still currently legal, protected, and available. So if you're in Illinois or you're in North Carolina, you are still able to get all the reproductive health services you need. Um, however, if you are like me and you are in a state where it's no longer protected, um, uh, I live in Utah. in Wisconsin. Oh, and Wisconsin, too. Yeah. Um, so the, um, the Utah trigger law went into effect almost four hours after the Supreme Court decision came out, um, which means abortion is now completely restricted in the state of Utah, except for in cases where the police and a judge can agree that sexual assault, uh, i.e. rape um, or incest have occurred. Um, Both of those are almost impossible to get a court of law to agree to as the state of Utah is somewhere between 11 and 60,000 rape kits um, behind in their backlog. Um, So the odds of you getting an abortion if you need it are slim to none. Um, Now, the Utah Supreme Court has issued a 14-day injunction against the trigger law going into effect. 
That does not mean the Utah Supreme Court is going to overturn the trigger law. What that means is that there is a little bit of legal, frilly little happiness they have to do so that it can actually go into effect. So right now in Utah, you have, I think, four days left before um, it goes back to being completely unavailable. Granted, it's mostly unavailable right now, as most uh, licensed professionals who can perform an abortion have had their licenses revoked by the state already. So what we're going to do here on Gorilla Radio Show is we are going to give all of the Patreon money um, that we receive, all the donations we receive are going to go straight to the Utah Abortion Fund. Um, we're looking into hosting maybe a live stream where we raise money for the Utah Abortion Fund um, very soon in the future. Obviously, this is, should be a cause that is near and dear to every single one of your hearts. Um, and I hope that you're doing what you can, where you can, to um, help fight against this and help provide safe um, and accessible reproductive health services to everybody who possibly fucking needs them. Um, this is a goddamn national travesty. It's yet another one in a long list of national fucking travesties. If you want to look into the other Supreme Court opinions that have come out over the last month, basically every single one of them takes away rights or and makes your life difficult just for the sake of making your life difficult. Um, so yeah, I um, hate to be a fucking downer, but it's fucking important and... I really hope you're um, you're all with me, because quite honestly, if you don't support abortion, don't pay for my Patreon, don't listen to my podcast. All right. Yeah, that's my bit. Well, damn, Greg kind of went off there. God damn. Can, we get, a, can we get a round of applause, uh, listeners, right now? Clap for Greg. Uh, yeah, we'll hear if we If I know our audience, then around the world, when this episode goes live... We'll hear a unified clap, <laughs> and hopefully that will break everyone's eardrums. Uh, everyone, will do, everyone will do one Travis screech. <laughs> yeah, chip yeah. check. And uh, then die in suicide by cop like Travis. So. Yes, of course. Uh, the only thing I have to add is I think I have secured a Gorilla Radio Show Twitch channel. If not, please don't steal it because um, I want to use that. And uh, we're probably going to do something fun uh while also fundraising for the utah abortion fund thinking maybe some super monkey ball <laughs> i guess since i'm also just kind of the uh i'm the nothing person i don't do anything really all day um it's not totally true but i am mostly online uh i will say that wayne radio tv a few years ago did do like a 24-hour super monkey ball live stream for a different charity oh, yeah. um so I was think I I've been suggesting stuff in our uh, recording chat. Uh, yeah, I can probably where did I put them? Uh, Ape escape, ape out. Uh, given for the greater good was a name that I was throwing around. Just that's uh, good. I like that. <laughs> a lot of obviously not a light issue. Hard to make light of it, but I think yeah. you know given the given the context that we are a funny monkey podcast. It is a little, there's going to be a bit of a tonal, like, just kind of disconnect that we have to get through. But I think, I think it's important, obviously. This is a human rights issue and violation. And I'm not, I'm not the smartest person, um, but I want to help however I can. So I'm definitely going to be a part of that live stream. Uh, yeah. when it happens. I'm not sure how long it'll be or if it'll be split up over a few days or something, but just, you know, look forward to it. If you have suggestions, uh, you know, we have a phone line that we'll get to in a little bit, uh, but you can call in if you have, or if you want to support the Patreon and send that money to the Utah abortion funds, then you should do that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you don't have to subscribe to our Patreon. You can also just make a direct donation to the Utah Abortion Fund or your local abortion fund if you're yeah. in a state like that is the reproductive rights are under attack. So, you know, don't think you know what? I, I don't want this to come off like a advertisement for our pod. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what? Here, here's what I'll fucking do for you if you guys are OK with it. Um, if you can prove that you donate at least 20 bucks to your local abortion fund, um. You get you. We'll get you in the Patreon for a month. I oh, that sounds all cool. right. We can. I think that's. Yeah. To be I mean, honest, I don't know how to do that, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> it's like uh, add, you have to add a free tier that's invite only. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if um, you can send us proof that you're donating to your local abortion fund, we will get you in the Patreon. And, Hell yeah! Uh, 
don't be an asshole and lie for content because uh, that's I will like, find probably out. Probably the yeah I of all the people you don't want to piss off. Greg is definitely up there. I think yeah. he's. I'm he so is. close to committing acts of. You're gonna have to bleep <laughs> that out. Can you actually put uh, a funny bleep there? <laughs> no, I, I uh, yeah. think it's funny. I think we should keep that in. I don't think I we think, should keep I that. I think in. it's within our. I, I think if I think if Big Soy Naturals can ask for people to send them handgun parts, uh, I think it's fine uh, for uh, Greg to uh, admit to wanting to commit acts of against the United States government. Which, Give Cerise uh, a gun. Yeah. Oh, Give yeah. Uh, speaking speaking of Cerise, um, I I will say uh, Big Soy Naturals did offer to help out and join in with the live stream. So I'm hoping the live stream can be like a. Like a big fun, like not not fun, but <laughs> like a big oh, like get together for all a the big sober event. Yeah, a big <laughs> sober event for all the gorillas. They are they are putting regulars. together banana coin. Uh so that's, that's kind of that is on our like uh, I don't know, that's within the that's within the monkey zone. Uh if yeah. we have a banana coin. It's within our we purview. To, we can we do have it. to do like a Bernie Madoff like rug pull scheme on banana coin. Just shill it to all of my impressionable Tumblr followers. Get them all invested in banana coin and then just sell everything the second it hits a dollar. We're gonna rug pull banana coin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, banana investing people of capital, uh BIPOC people. <laughs> uh, all right. anyway. So, so what the fuck is... are we doing in this episode? Um, well, there is one thing I want to start out with. It's it's something kind of interesting. It's like a, I guess, I suppose a theory. Um, essentially, <laughs> not, I'm not, it's not, I'm not going to do like a game theory thing. This is like an actual serious scientific thing. Anyways, so. About Serbia. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Okay, so February uh, Wait, wait, can I, can I, I want, I yeah, want to yeah, yeah. just, um. So, on the first Colin episode, someone claiming to be a Serbian trans woman called in asking about the logistics of, I believe, fucking a chimpanzee, and Greg made fun of me uh, by saying that that was me. I absolutely, absolutely was you, was it not? No, it was not. You can <laughs> off, you can compare voice touch. Uh, I would never be called Serbian. I'm taking great offense to that. I just um, thought you were doing you were continuing the bit that I continue every episode by being <laughs> vehemently anti-Serb. <laughs> no. For no other I reason than my know. own personal fucking I have fucking no employment. idea who that was. Uh, if you want to call in uh, Serbian trans chimp fucking 69 or whatever the hell you go by, uh, call in uh, claim you're not me. This is identity <laughs> theft by accident. You're gonna uh, call in right after this and be like, I am not Perry. And <laughs> I am gonna fuck a chimp. Did I wanna know if she succeeded, if she if she if she did it. <laughs> we haven't heard back, so I'm wondering about. if I don't uh, wanna know. No, I told her that a bonobo would be a better choice. But um Oh yeah. I'm yeah. I'm worried would, that but... maybe she was assassinated by the Serbian government before, uh, you know, for getting too close. That's what to you get group. when your country's like only twenty years old or whatever. And what are you fucking talking about? The Serbian government would love it if more people were fucking chimps. It would stop their goat <laughs> fucking problem. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't care. No. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Greg, uh, I don't care. Greg's a loose can in this episode. <laughs> abortion rights. Abortion I'm rights so, and no rights for Serbians unless you want an abortion. Then that's I'm fine. so close to being completely <laughs> fucking unhinged. Like <laughs> the moment Greg starts growing out his hair is the moment we've lost like all safety in the world. Oh uh, yeah. He's gonna the get second the I whole forget to shave my head every day. <laughs> I want to see Greg yeah. with a Ted Kaczynski cut. Oh, not, I not think early he's gonna Kaczynski go, like, either. Greg could be Snake Plissken. He could get like the slight Snake Plissken mullet or whatever. <laughs> just a bandana. Just absolutely losing my fucking mind. Just <laughs> you. Every except you, this time you go to kill Hunter Biden instead of rescue him from New York or whatever. <laughs> I'm not so, killing Hunter uh, Biden. Yeah, Hunter Biden rocks. Do you like... know how much of my stuff is on his laptop? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we isolate that? No. Hunter Biden rocks from Austin. Wait, now, hold on. He's cancelled, isn't he? Like, for, for actual things. <laughs> hold on. I don't know, is he? I, for, I forgot. Cares? I thought he was just the funny guy that 
did the crack pipe stuff. Well, he did do the crack pipe stuff. I think he no. also did like pedophilia, though. <laughs> now that I no, think of it. <laughs> not our no. Hunter Biden, America's Hunter Biden, <laughs> America's sweetheart. Uh, the uh, when has a child of a politician ever done anything wrong? I mean, like look at Matt Gates, uh, Florida all politician of the legacy. Uh, I'm sure. Florida politicians are legally obligated to do crime. I do challenge all politicians to a one-on-one -on -one fight with a chimpanzee. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, if you really want to prove your cognitive abilities, prove them in the ring. We're going Baki style. Hell <laughs> okay. yeah. Oh shit, no, 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 I dropped the pizza on the- No, 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 Hold on. Hey, yeah, Greg, how you doing? Me. Oh, you know, me. I just, I spend all my free time now planning protests, and I don't Son sleep, and I have yeah. no money. I'll, I'll eat it. Is, like, okay, so. Life get, is pain. <laughs> Austin, just get up and do stuff. You can, we, we'll just vamp for a bit, okay? I'll drink my water, <laughs> and me and Greg Pick up your chat. pizza, you fucking whiny baby. <laughs> I literally, where? Oh my bed. god! Screaming like, and crying. On the bed? <laughs> Jesus! You're being you're being a, a real a real neat right now, my boy. Just pick up the fucking. I'm pizza. an actual no, neat. No, no, this I fixed it. I fixed it. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, the anyway. pizza situation is under control, but. <laughs> I That's did a good. fucking Tyler we, one we... trying to show everyone my pizza and then I just dropped it on the fucking bed. Do you think we can That's control like... do you think we can control how loud you're fucking screaming into your microphone? <laughs> Is that fucking possible? <laughs> Stop it. Alright. Anyways, uh, I appreciate it. the oh, <laughs> I appreciate the Baki Shut joke up. with Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> I, look, if Nancy like how many years ago was that? Fucking Good morning. Sunday morning. Like, morning. we should have gotten her then, but now, like, it's just in at insult to injury or whatever. Like, someone I should am... really, someone should really, like, you know, like, I'm not going to say it out loud, but Nancy Pelosi, like, very soon. <laughs> if you guys um, see that King Missile. What's that one King Missile track? Uh, Mr. President or whatever? Like, fuck everybody yeah. who's been within 15 feet of you and not done it. Uh, yeah, if you guys can't tell, I'm really, um, I've always been an advocate for political violence, but it's really up in the ante lately. Um, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, look, a message to all U.S. officials, you're really pushing Greg's luck, alright? <laughs> you're, sorry, you're pushing your luck. You gotta do an Greg. edit of me with, like, a samurai sword chopping, like, water bottles outside of my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, here we go. We got, we got to is... put Greg back on coke and get him, like, fucking um, storming the Capitol building. <laughs> I need exactly. everybody, all all listeners, I need you to go and listen to uh, King Missile, The President. Just the track, The President by King Missile. And just, you know, put that on while you sleep, and hopefully that will, you know, awaken your ingrained training that you've forgotten. Uh, or it will activate a new one. Like, you'll get a new brain cell yeah. it's just... Des designated <laughs> for activate the Travis sleeper agent. Wake up, primal <laughs> sliver king here. I mean, like here, I want you to like. This is how I'm feeling, honestly. I yeah. hope it's political violence. Oh, you uh, know it. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan wants to be here. Um, does he? Fuck him. Yeah. Sorry, Ethan. I beat you to it. I'm the <laughs> I'm the second returnee or whatever. I thought we weren't. Yeah. I actually, don't know if he's been on the Patreon. I thought we weren't yeah. doing cryptids this episode anyway. Yeah, no, Whatever. we're not doing cryptids, well, we'll anyways, cryptids. All right. anyway, so, um, yeah. I actually really like a solution to this problem that was, I think, suggested by Beanie Baby Beansprout in the Discord, otherwise known as, uh, my girlfriend, who I am doing, uh, financial crimes to get into the Patreon without her paying, but it's okay, because she's- cause Oh! She oh! <laughs> oh, you're doing financial <laughs> crime! Well, okay, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair- Fi all finance is crime, so it's fine. Yeah, uh, but um, her solution to this problem was um, there should be a cage full of chimpanzees in the Oval Office, right? Um, and there, the cage is connected directly to an approval numbers poll. 
and every time the approval like goes down one percent the cage lifts like another inch off the ground and then it just like it gets to the point where he's trying to get to mr joe brandon he's trying to get to his desk and there's chimpanzee arms just reaching out and grabbing his like ankles and tripping him and shit um and eventually once it reaches a certain point the chimps are just unleashed into the white house and the only thing that could have been done to prevent this is uh you know actually fight well you need a good of, you need a you know, good president your... which doesn't yeah. exist with a good chimpanzee cage. diamond joe is gonna have a chimp pit <laughs> <laughs> i feel like this might be giving the wrong ideas to the wrong people like what if someone's like oh that's a perfect idea to deal with protesters we get the chip pit <laughs> I, would hope feels... I hope not a chimp think... would never be in uh a chimp would never be a cop chimps are too uh... and not like want to kill cops chimp would make the perfect <laughs> cop yeah to be like there's i'm sure there's like so many bits by now of just like chimpanzees and cop uniforms like firing guns at random it's because like they're some... they're cops <laughs> i mean yeah they're obviously bad like people. it's because chimps all go they're to so hell. bad at be they're so <laughs> bad at being people that they're chimpanzees every chimp will go to hell no matter what <laughs> every chimp will go to hell no matter what <laughs> oh yeah so my initial thing that i wanted to talk about let's see uh let me pull up my phone real quick so this is called the Bruce effect, and it's primarily noticed in lab mice and geladas, which is, you know, basically a baboon, but scarier. It's um, like a baboon, but he really likes Italian ice cream. <laughs> no, it's the one where it looks like their fucking, like, lungs are visible on their chest. It's really scary. Um, oh, they're just really fucked up? Is that what you're saying? Oh, gelata. Yeah. That's how it's spelled. Whoa, Man, I go whoa, gelato. fuck. <laughs> oh my god i hate this thing yeah no they're look fucked at, up one of my least favorites <laughs> look at look at this fucker look at the third image on google i think let me yeah, see this, this. oh yeah they do that lip flip thing where they pull their lips back <sighs> and just expose their terrifying hey. giant teeth <laughs> that's horrifying oh yeah no they're horrifying but um so they come into play in a really interesting evolutionary theory. Um, how this is observed in lab mice is female pregnant uh, lab mice, if they are in a group in captivity and a new male is introduced, they will spontaneously abort the fetus um, w through some biological process that they don't. nobody really understands very well. And they think that that is, you know, a cutting your losses type of mechanism and this is also found in geladas where essentially if it's obviously a lot more dramatic because the gestation period for primates is a lot longer than mice but um essentially female geladas who are pregnant if a new male is introduced as like the dominant uh i guess male of the group in order to avoid infanticide what they will do is they will essentially just abort the pregnancy to cut their losses and start over so that they don't have to carry the baby to term um, and then only to have the new male just completely murder all the babies. So there is literally, in nature, like, ingrained, like, abortion mechanisms. For, we killing you know, them babies! <laughs> for when babies. it is evolutionary, evolutionarily advantageous to abort your baby. Like, this is a real thing. I mean, in science like, groups. just <laughs> in nature, like, how many, like, how... There's so many nature documentaries I've watched where it's like, look at these baby ostriches, and then it's like, look at these baby ostriches die of, like, dehydration in the desert. And it's like, <laughs> there is no, like, I don't know, there's no sanctity to life that hasn't been lived. It's just, like, I hate the idea that these people believe in. I think it's just revolting. And it's like, I don't know. It, it, it makes me, it pisses me off to no end. Uh... I will say but. this argument won't really uh, convince any evangelicals or whatever the hell, um, because, you know, I'm pretty sure they're all firm believers in the fact that humans are very special um, and only humans have souls and uh, all that stuff and that animals don't count and anything animals do doesn't reflect on humans, so on and so forth. That's mostly because no argument is going to work on those kind of people. You just kind of have to treat them as political enemies. The only way to engage with those people is through, you know, acts of violence or acts of silencing them. So true. And just, you know. 
acts of overt and and extreme political violence. <laughs> More bloodshed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm just, sorry. If you you're know, not like actively trying to like kill them all, then like, what are you doing? We Got need, it. we need Travis Nation to rise up and go just completely uh, <laughs> maul everyone around you. <laughs> if you're a dedicated listener, it's your, it's morally correct to do this. I will not take the blame for this because this is a police state and I'm recording on the Chrome browser. You cannot trust Google. <laughs> it is morally correct and you have a duty to help out in any way you can. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I forgot the I forgot the little topic that you came up with. I was like, what the fuck is he talking you about? You have You're a legal police. obligation to kill cops, okay? <laughs> Write that down. You gotta justify them existing, right? Or something? I don't know. I'm not good. I'm not that crazy. We definitely arguing. have to justify their deaths. No, their deaths right. can be unjustified. But I feel like Greg has got undergone some kind of jokerification arc over the past couple of protests he's gone to because this is I... a new. I am... This is not jokerize. This is not jokerification. I think jokerification is a like negative context. Whatever this yeah. is, this is like. Oh yeah, this, this is extremely this is a, cool. This is yeah, like that <laughs> good. What's happening to this me? Is, okay. This is this, this is, is a like, redemption arc. <laughs> redemption. I don't he need never redemption. needed. He's never Greg, needed Greg it. needs to redeem himself for being bald. Is the, is the no. Thing hey. You're so funny. You're so funny. You're so funny. 411. 411. 411. What does that mean? Is he actually 411? I'm like not 411. No, He's like 48, I think, on a good day. <laughs> Look, I'm sure you're bald. That's the, that's the riff we go off on this podcast. This is terrible. <laughs> We're just the cast of Seinfeld. <laughs> oh man if, if me and what greg fused i'm kramer i'm sorry i'm kramer no no no. if me I and think greg Chandra's fused kramer. like fucking Chandra's kramer dragon Chandra's ball z kramer. we would just fuse to form george costanza <laughs> i've got the glasses and i'm short greg's bald and uh you say you say that greg is wearing the glasses Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're not wearing glasses right now, Austin. <laughs> My glasses. Never, I've never, never seen you wear glasses. glasses. He doesn't want to put on his hyper femme glasses because he knows I'll make fun of him for it. <laughs> Come on, this is a microcosm of what we got through in the. Uh, Pride Month episode. I I can't put my glasses on right now, but my glasses. Are. I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> I can see without them. Shut up. But, uh... <laughs> I Don't I think you. okay. Uh, Why can't you see any hose, dude? <laughs> Austin wearing the maid dress is one thing. I think we got to see Austin in a Velma Dinkley cosplay. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> too horny for me. <laughs> that's that's a bit that's a bit too risque. I think. Oh, that's the line. There's for you. Mo there's more covering in that technically. Yeah, but like the implications are there. Yeah, we'll just make it horny. Maybe <laughs> one of the things we are thinking for on the uh, stream is Austin putting on a maid dress. For a is that bit. what we're thinking? Is that is that, that what we're planning? Them. And also, we're gonna that... beat the shit out of you. <laughs> You're just gonna send people to my house. I might. There are. I mean, they're already hey, on the way. We got. We have one. <laughs> we got one of one of our fans is in the uh, Chicago area, and I'm we not. We have too a couple of fans in the Chicago area, actually. I um. Shout Nobody out to cares. if you started watching this podcast because of the little chimp qr posters i've been putting around the city occasionally um but i did check our listening statistics and the two most the two biggest uh listenership cities i guess number one is i think san francisco and california just because you know that's where all the all the liberals are all the coastal elites who listen to our podcast um <laughs> and the second biggest city that listens to our podcast is chicago so yeah, so got good it. old shy rack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta. To be fair, Chicago is also a coastal city. You got the fourth coast in the United States. Of the yeah, the Great Lake Lakes. Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Yeah. More of a Lake Erie like... man myself. No, I'm kidding. It sucks. <laughs> Anybody knows that the Superior Lake is the one with Superior in the name. Everybody knows <laughs> that the real Fourth Coast is the city on the Great Salt Lake. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be uh, nationalist about Mormon hell. You 
You have to hate it right now. Personally, so. I'm I'm super into a communist People's Republic of Deseret. All right, it's a cool name. <laughs> I actually I had a I had a Mormon friend in high school who I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I live in Utah, dog. I have no Mormon friends. I don't want to talk to those freaks. <laughs> For some reason, there was like an enclave of Mormons with red hair in my like. I get my high school town, I'll say. Um, well, but essentially, he, he really didn't like that I was a communist, but um, he eventually came, or he, like, justified being friends with me by, um, he started talking about, like, religious communes, he's like, yeah, those are good ideas, I can get behind that. I'm like, whatever works, man, but, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't <laughs> Um, God, he really just God, laughs like that all the time. He, d all the fucking time. <laughs> it's, like... It's so fucking, gonna have a, It's bad. We need a it's, laugh counter that's measured by like instances of five. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with my laugh? <laughs> it's funny. It's funny until it's like the most annoying thing you've ever experienced. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna. I will laugh say. Uh, I have some. Don't laugh. History. I don't care. I do have. I actually do have family history with uh, communes. My, uh, I think my immigrant on my mom's side, like my immigrant great, 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 however many. Uh, did actually live in a commune in common communist commune in Michigan, a Jewish communist, and uh, that existed. I uh, I are you like fucking kidding sunny. me? The Jewish communes? That's a huge fucking thing, you dumbass. Uh, <laughs> I, I will say, Look, I don't this know. is you know this may be like I don't think any there's not enough listening base right now. I'll regret this later, but uh, I do actually have fuck fuck Henry Ford in particular. Uh, if for people who know their uh, labor history. Uh, the Ford hunger strikes. Uh, I do have a one of my uncles, like great great uncles or whatever. Uh, I think he was fourteen. He was part of the Young Communist Club or something, like a Young Communist member, and uh, was shot by one of Gerald Ford's security team uh, during the Ford hunger marches. Uh, Damn! So you had like cool like relatives and like ancestors and shit. Yeah, yeah. Those were all and, uh, super now. My uh, and on my also on my mom's side from my grandpa uh, escaping the Nazis because they knew they were bullshit, you know, despite being you know born Germans. Anyway, well, yeah, uh, I'm um, single and this is my family history, so uh, hit me up. <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's someone let's, this please be, uh... fuck Perry. <laughs> I'll take please. it, uh, honestly, like you know, uh, look, Gorilla Radio Show fan meetup. Just <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Gorilla Radio Show fuck a fan contest. <laughs> the fucking suck meetup. <laughs> that'll be after next. That'll be next year at the end of the uh, like year of not sucking or fucking from Big Soy Naturals. Yeah. Gorilla uh, Radio it... Show uh, meet and fuck games. <laughs> I do need oh, yeah. to see Austin in that maid dress. I might have Greg. to. I'll come down to. I'll come down. To I might act and... the fuck up if I see Austin in that maid dress. <laughs> Jesus Honestly, I get what your girlfriend is talking about. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. I, I get that. I get your type. <laughs> hey man. Hey man, Austin. I'm saying this with all 100 percent respect, and I don't want to fuck you, but you would make an excellent little femboy. You really would. <laughs> I did. All right. Well. <laughs> oh, there we are. Uh, uh, all right. I guess I'll fucking pull up fucking voicemails for you animals. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do some voicemails. It's been a while. All right. I got well, a first, Tumblr anon message about it. So yeah, before we even touch uh, voicemails, I would I would first like to talk about um, my favorite interaction I've had so far with these with this. We should get some some segment music for this. We really should. But um, here's my favorite thing that's happened so far. I received a text message on the Google phone number. Do not fucking text me, please. Um, <laughs> like, keep texting, Greg. I received a text message at 12.11 p.m. today. How much could a gorilla bench? <laughs> and, I, and I texted back. I said, did you just text the hotline? <laughs> Response, I have social anxiety. Calling is hard. Okay? I just... Girl, I just fuck up. He, no, 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 no. It's okay, because I responded with just... I shitted my big ass Janko jeans at AutoZone. <laughs> oh, is that Street Shark? Hell yeah! <laughs> why? Why was that the response? Because uh, then they <laughs> responded with a uh, with a, with a screenshot of r slash two sentence horror that says, "I took her to my penthouse and I freaked it." 
<laughs> That's less funny than yours. Yeah, um, so so how much could a gorilla bench? I'm going to say a massive amount. Have you seen them? They're fucking ja jacked. I watched a video about this like a couple of years ago, um, and they took essentially... Uh, Did you beat your meat to it? No, 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 no. Sure. Okay, so <laughs> there was like a video where someone did like the percentage change in amount like in terms of like uh body mass to weight lifted ratio for like a professional weightlifter then they extrapolated that um and like applied it to a gorilla which is like assuming if we could train a gorilla to do you know bodybuilding how much they could lift and i don't remember the number i wish i did but i feel like it was it was definitely in the four digits i will say that <laughs> I want to say 7,000, but I don't think that's correct. 7,000 what? Pause. Bitch. What? <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think that's correct, but I'm gorillas weigh gorilla a lot. Like, I think gorillas could bench like 700 pounds if you trained him. Oh yeah, no, definitely. But like, I feel like, I feel like a gorilla could definitely break a thousand. 4,000 like, pounds. I feel like, I feel like. 4,000 like... pounds. Literally just Googled it. It's wild oh. gorilla safaris. How strong is a gorilla? A silverback gorilla can lift 4,000 pounds on a bench press, while a well-trained man can lift only 885 pounds. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty okay. crazy. Seems like a legit sight, uh, kinda. Uh, so, um, cool. Um, so that's whoever you are... That's and hey, they have, you... they have safaris into the Congo. So, you know, tying it back even further into the pod. Congo. So, um, so whoever you are <laughs> that decided to fucking text me <laughs> on the fucking call-in hotline, dickhead, I guess, but also now we can't listen to you speaking. All right? You're yeah, taking away I from the whole vibe. I want to hear you stutter. I want to hear you stumble. You're taking away we from the vibe. We already have Austin on the pod. Come on. <laughs> Like, like, I will more beat your ass to absolute fucking death, okay? <laughs> Unless All you're, right. like, 14 or something this and is, you're impressionable. Yeah, this is definitely like, because helping. Because you, uh... you saw Austin's Tumblr posts on TikTok and you were like, oh, I want to join Tumblr. It looks really funny <laughs> and uh, cool. Don't do it. Uh, Run away now. <laughs> uh, no, join Tumblr. Leave TikTok. Uh, that's my social media advice. Bad um, take. Get off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... I feel like ideally just leave all social media in that situation. Hi, buddy. Come here. What's up? Hi. But, Look, it's Tomago. This is Tomago. Okay, well, if you give me a second, I can go. Actually, I don't know where my cats are right now. He's so mind. fat. He's like well, 30 the, pounds. The viewers can't see this, but this is Greg's cat. <laughs> they look awesome. I love your cat. Hi, buddy boy. Anyway, okay, so first voicemail. I'm gonna. Sh I haven't listened to any of these voicemails, by the way. So you have? Oh, oh, well, this. No, is we're live is reacting. Okay. So I'm gonna okay, put this... them. I'm gonna put them in the chat, Austin, in the order we listen to them. So, like, here's the first one. Yo, what's up? It's Brendan from Australia. Um, Australia. You know the the answering machine tempts tempts you to leave chimp. Uh, chimp noises on the voicemail, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, uh, I dropped a, I made a quiche, I dropped a whole quiche on the floor, so I'm feeling kind of, uh, you know, demoralized right now, but I, I wanted to call in and ask, what's the biggest, um, you know, the biggest monkey, you know, chimp animal? I mean, I assume it's going to be a gorilla, but like, what's the biggest one of all time? You know, are we talking like, you know, enormous size, like, nine foot like a bit is there, is there like sort of a megafauna type of uh type of chimpanzee well, well what's the word on that uh, i love the show peace no fucking way <laughs> no fucking way and i'm re i'm realizing it right now i'm realizing it right now i'm looking at his voicemail this motherfucker is actually from australia their country code is fucking australia oh my we god we have a fucking yeah. listener in australia listeners? Uh, all right. Okay. All right. I can actually. I can. Austin, can I answer this question? I can do this. Yeah, you know the answer, Greg. I'm sure. So um, so the biggest monkey, like the biggest great ape currently alive, would be a gorilla. Um, however, greatest of all time, um, we're talking Gigantopithecus, which is essentially oh, yeah. a. Uh, <sighs> were they more like chimps or more like giant gorillas? Um, I, the, more like giant gorillas, definitely. So, like, yeah. Gigantopithecus would have been uh, more than 9 feet tall. You're probably, it's like, 10 or 12 feet tall. 
yeah, oh, fucking um, massive. And like well over a thousand pounds, like big ass motherfuckers. Wait, that's what that fucking yeah. random Jungle Book live action movie was? I saw those no. ads and I was like, why the fuck they got a big orangutan? I don't know. That's just an orangutan. I think but, that um, might actually just be a No, no, orangutan. it says that's kind of dope. Uh, you know, fuck Disney and all, but I, I'm glad that there's somewhere there's like a CGI model of a giant fucking huge uh, orangutan. I should, someone should yeah, rip that. I mean, shout out to the underpaid cgi department that made that but um also um there's your answer to your question i have questions for you i want you to call me back in i want to hear the largest spider you've ever found in your own home okay. <laughs> i want to i want to hear more from our australian listeners i also want to know how the fuck you found this podcast <laughs> um, uh, and also if you got charged international rates to call me I'm gonna let you text me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, no, okay. Australian Australian listeners get it free. They got they have to deal with like however fuck their parliament is. But uh, uh, thank you so much for the question, Brandon from I, Australia. Wait, Brandon, uh, I do have a Good I have another request. Speech. How many how many prime ministers have gone around since you've been alive in Australia? <laughs> how many PMs you got uh, in your under your belt? Um, and also. <laughs> Thanks for dropping a quiche so Austin's less embarrassed uh, about dropping his pizza. If you call <laughs> back in, can you call me in an Australian accent like a sick cunt? Please? <laughs> Please? Yeah. Stay alive from Mad Max. So, sorry, we Wait, just... no, stop! Everybody shut up. I want you to say, that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, right, you guys right. love Crocodile Dundee over there, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All the time. They're, they're, All right. They watch um, it every day. Are we ready for the next one? Yes, we're yeah. ready for the next All right. one. All right. Haven't listened to this one either, so let's just download. I hope we get a weirder country. Paste in here. Enter. <laughs> get a call from, like, Slovenia. All right. All right. Hey, yo, this is uh, Alex from Las Vegas. And I, I had a question for y'all. Now... Uh, when I was little, they had a little slot meat chimp that had a little music box, and you would give him like five dollars, and he'd give him, and he'd give you back a little photograph of himself in a funny outfit. My question is, what's the most like complex, complex like task um, a monkey can learn? Like, horses can pull carts and stuff. What what can monkeys do? Can they do, like, accounting or something? Anyway, love the show. Keep it up, y'all. All right, wait. We should stop because this person sent me a follow-up voicemail. Uh, uh. Also, I want... I, Alex from Las Vegas, before I even play the second one, you're fucking psychotic, okay? I know you're psychotic <laughs> because our fucking time zones are only an hour <laughs> apart, which means you were fucking calling in at, like, 1.30 in the morning. I mean, he did sound like it's <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, so can let's 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 put the uh, second one in here uh, so you guys can listen to the next one. Yeah, before we answer this, so here's the follow-up. Oh my god, um, it's a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> so. Okay. <I'm... laughs> Shut up! He's gonna start talking. Sorry, sorry. Since uh, monkey chow is like mainly plant protein, and I'm guessing that's soy, um, it has me thinking. What would the feminizing effects of HRT be like on monkeys? Would they grow monkey breath? Would they have monkey fat distribution and get <laughs> to the end of my time. What about for the males? Like, uh, uh trans monkeys. What would that look like? Would they get, like, crazy click growth? Could you do bottom surgery on monkeys? Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> That's it! That's the end! What the fuck?! What the fuck?! <laughs> Alex, 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 Alex. Right. to quote Stephen A. Smith, stay off the weed! 
What the fuck are you talking no, no. about? Okay. Austin, or not Austin, Alex. Alex, God bless America's stoners. Well, no, God this bless is a fair America's question, stoners. though. I love this shit. Our most powerful listeners. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised this is, like, the first one we've gotten. Because you guys did get, like, a weed, weed guy last time, right? No, this is not no, the this is the first time I've gotten a weed guy. I love your, I love your energy. I love your gender <laughs> inclusivity. I love your talk about uh, feminizing effects from food. As if you think that's how that works. I think it's great. I th I'm in love with your brain. Don't come near me. Um, uh, I'm just going to say, as a trans woman, kind of, sort of, it's not how that works. Like, it, you can get very small amounts of hormones from food, uh, obviously, because that's just how your body, you know, processes chemicals. Um, but for the most part, digestion... Uh, eats away so if you're just eating like a meal or food like a burger or something in the example of feminizing burger king burgers uh what happens is that it goes you know through your stomach acid because you're not really taking the time to process those individual hormones which is why a lot of estradiol that is taken orally is usually you have you have to hold it under your tongue until it dissolves away um which is why it's also considered one of the least effective ways to uh, uh, receive estrogen. You have to reduce your testosterone in tandem with upping your estrogen. That's kind of how HRT works. So our transgender chimpanzee warriors are yet to exist. But in the future, you know, we've seen Planet of the Apes, so we know that apes ride horses, which means they've domesticated horses and since mare urine is how estrogen is made for the most part it's possible in the future so keep dreaming stoner <laughs> i will say um the only experience i have with this is the male capuchin monkey that got like a huge rack of tits from allegedly from drinking human breast milk um now given what you just said i'm not sure if that's actually the truth god Maybe damn I'm i hope making it is. that shit up whoever milk hit me up <laughs> but um yeah i'm not entirely sure on the Jesus. <laughs> i'm not entirely <laughs> god damn it I'm not entirely sure about the uh science behind it but i would assume it works in essentially the same way except that chimpanzees don't have as much like dimorphism in that uh, aspect so i'm not sure how if it'd be like noticeable or whatever but i do know that the capuchin that uh, I worked with at a zoo once, um, had a huge, like, rack of tits. Great tits. Because it was Excellent drinking, rack. Uh, human breast milk. You want to do the next one? Because we got a bunch, and I am running <laughs> out of time. Oh. Oh my god, you're right. What the hell? All right, all right. I just looked... fucking while. No, sorry, I was looking, I looked up monkey tits. No, no I looked up capuchin monkey breasts. Excuse me? And the first, the second <laughs> result a... on Twitter, uh, Austin was correct. Really? Okay, I'll have to I'll have to look that Everybody up. Everybody see it? It's a minute and thirty eight. Oh my god. Um Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Thank you for what you do, great wonderful citizens of the world. This here is Lewis. I am a Midwesterner and I have a comment about those old primates. I have just found out today and I had to interrupt my Minecraft plane. Mm -hmm. It is the middle of the afternoon and I had just found this out from my wonderful, wonderful partner and boyfriend, that apparently a monkey was in a bulletproof vest and was in a horrible, bloody drug war in Mexico. And I want to know <laughs> do you think that monkey and primate have the ability to cut out the middleman in this horrible drug war and just deliver us their distant, distant cousins drugs. I Concerned citizens want to know, and I especially want to know, do you think that monkeys can run cartels? I know that I want to know, and I know we have other people wanting to know here. And I'm sorry, I can't get over that this monkey was wearing a little bulletproof vest and camo. I believe he was the real one behind this. Other than that, I want to say you are, are doing Gollard's work. <laughs> and... I can't stop thinking about a monkey wearing a bullet. Is this vest like a fake accent? In a drug I don't care. And thank you for your work. Goodbye. 
and safe travels throughout this ship, starship Earth. Goodbye. All right, I'm going to clock Lewis real quick. Non-binary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clock. No, no. Clock. <laughs> you don't know that. I knew oh, immediately oh. when you referred to yourself as, this here is Lewis. <laughs> All right? Clocked. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about El Tangusto already, but nobody did address the fact that he could have been carrying drugs himself. I'm sure he was. I mean, it's like a cartel thing. That, you know, that's, is, that's a cartel crazy. thing. That's really funny. I mean, if you can train... If you can train pigeons to do it, you could absolutely... Oh, also, I got one more thing to clock you on, Lewis. You say you're from the Midwest? I am saying Iowa. Please call in and (laughs) tell me if you are non-binary and also from Iowa. I'm going to say Indiana. Okay, okay. Um, Indiana is also a fair guess. Lewis, it's okay to cry about El Chen Gusto. It's okay to cry. I did. I know I did. did, You did sound like you were getting a little bit teary. I know I cried about it. It's a shit world out there. It's okay to cry. I'm going to miss that motherfucker. God bless him. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one. Let's pull this one up. I'm trying to not read the transcription so I can just like, son of a bitch! <laughs> what happened? Oh my god! It's that motherfucker from Buffalo again. <laughs> <laughs> Christian from Buffalo, we love you. Never stop calling. <laughs> hey guys, it's Christian from Buffalo again. Uh, Hell yeah. Is, is there any, like, census data for the number of non-human primates we have in North America? Like in zoos and captivity and possibly private owners? You know, like, do we have any numbers on, like, how many currently there are? Uh, oh, yeah. Austin looks a lot like my, like, he, I look like Austin's older brother. And if Austin was my really? older brother, uh... I'd basically leave him behind at every fucking family function I could just go smoke. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like a little fucking annoying bear. <laughs> he gonna... said you look like a little fucking annoying bitch. Oh my god. Uh, hey. I'll be right back. I will say something uh... smells like it's on fire, so I'm just gonna dip for a sec. Uh, okay. I love your. Oh, I love your. Okay. I love well... your uh, shit, Brendan. Or is this Brendan or uh, whatever? This is Christian. Christian. No, this is Christian. Sorry, from Buffalo. sorry. I'm still on Brendan brain. I love you, Australian Brendan. I love you, Buffalo uh, Christian. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay. All right. You wanna? What do you want? What do you you wanna spitball here, Austin? Or okay. So um, I do know that Doctor Steve Ross, um, the late Doctor Steve Ross, he recently died. Um, wow. He worked for the Lincoln Park Zoo. He essentially did a census of every single chimpanzee in the country and like knew them personally. Um, he, I think, he died in his sleep a couple of weeks ago, which was uh, very untimely, very tragic. Ripped but, um, my boy. Yeah, he was, like, the main one doing that for chimpanzees, um, but I think zoos do keep a counter, um, and by googling it, it says there are, National Geographic here says there are more than 4,000 great apes in zoos worldwide, um, but, uh, I can't actually find, like, a census list of, like, primates in zoos, and there's so many roadside zoos that I'm not sure if that's entirely feasible, just because they don't really, they're not adherent to anything except the occasional yearly-ish USDA inspection. So, um, you know, I, I don't think it's possible to get an exact number, but we can get a rough estimate. Also, rest in peace, Dr. Steve Ross. Um, anyways. All uh, right, well, that's It that's seems probably... like it's uh, Fourth, of, Fourth of July residuals uh, gunpowder in the air. Uh, uh, just getting blown around by yeah. the storm. I will say... Hate to celebrate America, love to set off loud explosives in suburban neighborhoods. I uh, love fireworks. I'll, <laughs> I'll have another music recommendation for the pod listeners. Uh, go listen to Zach Shimp's Fountains on Bandcamp. Uh, great 4th of July album. Best song about fireworks I've ever got heard in my goddamn life. If you love Midwest indie shit. All right, next next question. <laughs> All right, let's get to the yeah, next let's one. Let's, let's see what through. we got here. What the fuck? Okay, well, this one will be very quick. Huh. Okay. Well, somebody just randomly gave me this phone number and told me to call it. Didn't know it would be about chimps and stuff. Love Gibbons. Love Gibbons so much. Uh, alright. Didn't have anything else prepared. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Uh, okay. Bye. (laughs) 
Thank you so much for calling. Oh, <laughs> mystery, mystery caller, mystery caller. I love gibbons too. You are. Yeah, we all love presented. gibbons. They're they're very cute. Um, I, I, well, I, you know, I'm a gibbon. I am a. I empathize with gibbons. Uh, I too have fucked up long <laughs> limbs. Uh, I got hands eight inches long. Oh my god. Like, I, I want you to look. Wow. Uh, let's see. I, I have a. That is. Those are some pretty. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, That's you the, can see. For those who can't see, there is there is a ruler being brought onto the screen right now, yeah. and that is, that is at least eight inches. Of, oh my god! <laughs> wait, no, that sounds horrible out of context. Hold on. But, <laughs> no, um... wait. Okay, we have the we have the bit we have the bit for the episode now. We can just put that out and be like, oh my god, it's eight inches long. <laughs> um, I, I emphasize with Gibbons; they're my favorite primate. Uh, I love those guys. So. Uh, I love that our listeners are just handing the phone off to random people, just telling them to like, "Hey, call this podcast and leave a message. Keep up the good work. Keep That's doing that. Absolutely, um, it's great. I want to see more of that." Yeah, actually. thank you All so right. much for calling. You know, if you listen to the episode and you think of a better question, you know, feel free call us. Give me a call. Yeah, give us your yeah, name. Come on, call us back. Give us your name and your <laughs> social security number and all that too. Yeah, of please. Course. Please right. send me an email with your first and last name, the answers to who your first dog was and where you went to elementary school, as well as your social security number. <laughs> Favorite ice cream um, flavor. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sibling's yeah. middle name, too. I don't really want to say my name. Uh, maybe you're bisexual. I don't know. I think you're an interesting man, but I don't think you're exclusively gay. Anyway, I also have a question. Um, what chimp? The I mean not really chimps. What um monkey or primate do you think has the best hair? Because they are so pretty. I think they are pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, bye bye. Okay, well I like that uh it started out with the answer to the prompt from the bonus episode. I got um, this today. Yeah, Austin put it out on Tumblr. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I, I did see. do a last minute. That's call why I got like forty uh, fucking mail. calls today. Oh my god, how many? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I got the last three that we listened to, um, and then the ne the next four are all from today. Good, good. Oh my we god, got eight okay. calls today. Well, I, I I have just added to my uh, list for next year's Pride Month episode bisexual question uh, mark. I have not considered this possibility. Um, <laughs> honestly, he really just gives trans lesbian vibes right now. I, that's my personal take. Um, but I love your brain. <laughs> I think this is a good call. He gives tomboy lesbian vibes for me. Yeah. <laughs> I can see, I could see him looking like a, uh. Like if you had a dumper on you, Austin, like you would be getting assaulted. Like, <laughs> like every time you went even lo within a hundred yards of a gay bar, you'd be getting like just. I mean, I need. There's something. There's something about him that's like you know that's landed him a girlfriend. And he drives. And he drives an old pickup truck. If you lived in the Pacific Northwest, your egg would hatch next week. Your egg would hatch yesterday. I got misgendered at go kart with my girlfriend's nephew right in front. Right in front of my nephew. <laughs> Maybe cut your fucking hair, Austin. No, I like it. Well like then, be I, mean, I don't know. I'll be a buzz cut, but you're the only straight man in the fucking <laughs> world to be constantly misgendered. <laughs> I don't even get that. Res I get like I get less respect than Austin really does, and this is under the assumption that you are trans. All right. Bisexual is on the list. Um, next right. one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Perry, you're gonna love this one. Austin, you're not. Oh, no. Oh, what? Okay, alright. All right. Uh... Hey, so I just wanted to call and say that Austin is definitely gay um, and transgender. He's had a Tumblr account for a long time. I think it's just not, not even a question anymore. Um, but I was wondering... So, you guys did a little bit about that, uh, <laughs> that primate fleshlight, and so I'm wondering why stop there, you know? Why not see what all other sex toys primates would like? <gasps> see? <laughs> I, that's, I brought that up and you called me a, a Definitely gay and transgender. Definitely gay and <laughs> transgender. 
You guys are focusing on the wrong part. Of the no, we're on focusing the on the right part. part. It's the most important part of the message. <laughs> Thank you for justifying <laughs> my hard effort that I think I spent like two weeks on just writing notes in the notes app and not even collecting on like a proper document. I'll show. I'll send out another "I love you" to this random listener. What the fuck? Ooh. Damn, that was. Oh, fireworks! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, well, that's, um, that's a whole voicemail. <laughs> all right, you want to crank out? Uh, well, I'm ones? not even going to download the next one. Um, this one came in at 1.10 p.m., um, and it just says, you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely aimed at Austin. Wait, no, I... Wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta want to It's not it, even, though. it's not, it sounds like it's like fucking robot voice saying it, too. It's funny. All right, all right, okay. Well, we can yeah, put okay, it in. Hold we can on, put, wanna, it in, so, okay, put it okay. in. You are gay. Awesome. All right. Well, Wait, uh, hold on. The next one is just as short, so we'll just throw that one in here. Um, yeah, throw it in there. All right, there. everybody get ready, and three, two, one, go. I think Austin is the lesbian. <laughs> you know what's even funnier is that that's, this, is, this is three different phone numbers. This is three different people. So, God bless um, our troop. Yeah. God bless our troop. Um. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. This is the. Silence, this is the final. This is the final voicemail. Um. And I. I really want to thank this person. This is gonna be. Well, I'm gonna love this. Hey, I have a question for um, the hot one, uh, the cool one, and the lesbian one that run this podcast. <laughs> I'm just wondering, are there any cool, uh, like, primate-exclusive diseases that you can tell us about? Thank you so much. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Thanks, for yeah, yeah. Thanks for the chimp um, check. Thanks for the chimp check. Well, as the hot one, um, the cool one's not here. We have a fill-in cool one. And then the lesbian Thank one. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, there's lots of cool monkey diseases. Um, basically, all of them have been transmitted to humans, though, because a bunch of white South Africans wanted to fuck chimps in the 1970s. Wait, are you sure that this person wasn't referring to one person when they said the hot one, the cool one, and the they lesbian? weren't? No. Like, what if that was? They that weren't. Was me. They that weren't. Me. And they're not. Could have been You're self-centered. <laughs> That's you. It was specifically for me. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, uh, fuck, I'm tired. Um, also, I've got about <laughs> five minutes before I gotta, like, hop off of here. Alright, alright. Alright, well, we can do a little send-off. Um, thank you, everyone. Who's Austin, answer the fucking you question! Know. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, exclusive primate diseases, uh... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, their immune systems are really similar to ours, so there's a lot of overlap, and, like, none that are specific to primates that I know of. Like, I could have researched this, but I didn't. I wasn't prepared for this question. I mean, I guess you could make a case for herpes B, but that can easily be transferred to humans, so it's not, like, exclusive. Is that why you have herpes B? So I would have to do... No, um, I do have to wear a Kevlar body armor at my new job to make sure I don't get herpes. Are you fucking for real? Um, yeah, no, it's it's actually kind of. So whenever cool. you're gonna awesome. tell everybody um, that you <laughs> work for, um, you're gonna just have to bleep me. When you work for <laughs> doing monkey touch, monkey touch button get treat, um, shit. <laughs> yeah, I work for a pretty. I got a pretty cool job with monkeys. Um, if anyone's curious, I start tomorrow and. Uh, I have to wear Kevlar to make sure I don't get murdered by a monkey, so yeah. Tomorrow <laughs> they're throwing Austin in the chimp pit we talked about in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> yeah. July 5th, the day Austin gets killed. Him. Yeah. Greg, you're gonna have to edit this one because I'm gonna be dead. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have enough audio clips we can make a, uh, we have enough audio that we can totally just turn that into a, uh, chatbot or something, and we'll just run that through Google, and we'll just say, Google... Or Austin, what's uh, how much can a gorilla lift? And then you'll just give us the first SEO result that people have. <laughs> um, I guess okay. I'm gonna do my little bit here for my send off. So I want to thank everybody for listening. Thank you. We've done this for 19 episodes now. That's like way too many episodes. This podcast should not have survived. Yeah. Um, but thank you all for uh, sticking with us and leaving us cool voicemails. 
Um, like, seriously, call in, ask me questions. I know when it's a Google Voice call, so I try not to pick it up. Um, like, that number is 801-386-9160. Go ahead and give us a call. Um, leave me a message. Try not to text me, because that, that does make my phone constantly buzz. Um, but yeah, one more thing. Again, like we talked about in the beginning of the episode... All of our money from the pod is going to go to the Utah Abortion Fund. We are going to do a live stream in the near future where we will be giving more money to the Utah Abortion Fund. Um, But please, donate to your local abortion fund. Donate to the Utah Abortion Fund. We'll try and put a link in there for the episode, and I'm going to add it to the link tree. Um, I'm also going to add a link for you to find your own local abortion fund. Um, Please donate. If you can send us – reply to a tweet, send us a DM – you prove to us that you're donating to a local abortion fund, we will get you on the Patreon, all right? Um, yeah, thank, thanks, everybody. Um, goodbye. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll just do a quick sign-off. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, you can find me at bandit-o-s on Tumblr, uh, and you can add a dash oc dash arc a-R-C-H on Tumblr for my art blog. And I am bandit underscore O underscore S underscore Inc. on Twitter. Uh, My handle right now and forever will always be uh, bring back the MLG aesthetic 2022 until it is 2023. Um, (laughs) You can commission me. My commission info is all around. uh, But, you know, Actually, you know what? Send me proof that you've donated, and I'll maybe do a commission for you. Uh, my rates are pretty cheap. I undersell myself right now. Might as well do that. Uh, but yeah, follow me, or don't. I'm not your mom. All right. Well, um, yeah, I don't have anything to add. Just you know, subscribe to the Patreon if you want to donate to the Utah Abortion Fund and get access to our content. And uh, sorry if we missed your voicemail. I feel like there was at least one we missed. I think I thought Doc sent in a new um, one. Doc, didn't. my uh, yeah, on June fifth though, it was a while ago. I might, I think I probably yeah, looked at it. Yeah, you might have. We might have like missed one. That yeah, I will. Already, but, I will mark um, it as unread, and we will get to it next time. I promise. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but uh, quick correction. Uh, Doc uses she/her pronouns. We. Uh, We didn't get that in last time, I don't think. But yeah, anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Uh, Episode 20 coming next. We'll have been doing this for, what, 10 months now at that point? When the fuck did we start this? October? Uh, October 2021. Fuck, we're coming up on a year of absolute shit, gang. (laughs) <laughs> uh, keep an eye out on the Grill Radio Show Twitter and Piss Vortex's Tumblr and all that shit uh, for information about the live stream. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll we'll definitely... We're trying to help however we can. And uh, just stay safe out there. Stay <laughs> safe. We live in a Tumblr. terrible yeah. fucking country. Fuck the 4th of July. Send mail to your local politicians. Don't bring your phone to protest. All right. Uh, and with that... Goodbye, and we'll see you next time. Hail to the scumbag, the motherfucking president. Fucking piece of shit! Scumbag, asshole, fucking...